Hi guys! So today I am doing a collaboration video and I'm really excited. I haven't done a collaboration in so long and myself and this other person have been trying to get this collaboration together for so long. And today I'm collaborating with Claire from Ultimate Makeover and if you've never seen her videos before, I don't know where you've been but Claire just does the most lovely makeup tutorials, just general beauty, she does some DIY, hair, her hair tutorials are amazing. But we are collaborating today and doing the $20 makeup challenge. So, for those of you that maybe have just joined me, have come from Claire's channel and you've never seen my videos before, I actually live in Australia and if you don't know, makeup in Australia is really, really expensive. So the $20 makeup challenge is, it's really hard. So I've done my best and I don't have a huge amount of products, again, just because stuff is so expensive here. So I've multitasked an awful lot with products. So I think there's a few good tips and tricks in here that show you how to kind of get the most out of whatever products you do already own. And also I will be doing a giveaway. I will give away all of the products that I used to create this look today. Obviously I will go and get new ones. I'm not gonna give you the exact same ones that I used today because that would be a bit gross. And if you click here on this thumbnail, Nail, that will take you to Claire's video. She is also going to be doing a giveaway on her channel. So if you click here, it'll take you to a new window and then it'll all be lined up and ready to go when you're finished watching this one. So I really hope you enjoy this slightly festive, I feel like a slightly snow white kind of makeup tutorial. Then keep watching and stay tuned to the end. I will tell you exactly how to enter the competition. I hope you enjoy. So I'm not gonna be using foundation today just because the budget didn't really allow for it. So instead, I'm gonna use a concealer, but I'm kinda gonna use it as a foundation. I'm just gonna blend it out. And I'm using the Essence Stay Natural Concealer. So it's the one in the pen. And this is in the color Soft Beige. I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit too dark for me, but I'll make it work. So I'll start under the eyes first. And then going to be using my fingers an awful lot in this tutorial because I don't I didn't really want to use brushes because I feel like that's cheating there's no way I would have been able to get brushes and makeup for under $20 so yeah the coverage in this is not great it's not really covering those blemishes at all which is slightly disappointing but I'm just gonna try and build it up uh, put on a couple of layers, kind of put it on, blend it out, let it dry, and then put on another layer and see if the coverage will build up that way. So that is the concealer on, and my initial kind of thoughts or review of that product would be it is absolutely rubbish and do not buy it, avoid at all costs. It's like it separates, it's very, very hard to blend in and the coverage is negligible. So it took me forever to build up the coverage on my uh, blemishes on my chin. I found the best way to do that was to apply a bit of the concealer, blend it in with my finger, and then set it with powder, and then put the concealer on, on top of it. So you kind of needed to like sandwich the concealer in between layers of powder. I'm gonna set my entire face with powder now, and I am using another Essence product. This is their All About Matte Powder, and I love this. This is a really excellent, kind of inexpensive, powder and because I don't want to use brushes I'm gonna put that on with a wedge so these are just you know those disposable latex wedges I buy mine in um, kind of big value packs so I think they work out at like I don't know 20 cents a sponge so pretty inexpensive next I'm going to do a little bit of experimentation and play with the makeup a bit obviously because my budget was so tiny I'm gonna to have to really multitask with a lot of these products so I don't I couldn't afford a contour or a bronzer but I do want to give myself a little bit of a contour so I'm going to take the eyebrow pencil I'm going to use and I'll talk about this a little bit later and pop it on the back of my hand just draw a big kind of circle of it on the back of my hand and then take some of that terrible terrible concealer and also put that on the back of my hand and then just with my finger I'm gonna rub them together so that I get a kind of a taupey brown cream and I'm gonna use that with my fingers as a cream contour Can you see that? I don't even know if that's coming across. But yeah, it just gives a little bit of a contour down there. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Hmm. Moving on to my brows now, and I'm gonna use that same brow pencil that I used as my contour. 
that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. And this again is another Essence product. This is the Eyebrow Designer in the color Light Brown. Love this pencil, I think it's an excellent uh, drugstore eyebrow pencil. Moving on to my eyes now and yet another Essence product. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the color Bling Bling. So it's a nice, soft, really pigmented pencil. The gorgeous goldy bronze color. So I'm just gonna draw it all over my lid. Actually, I don't know if I'll draw it all over. I'll just draw a thick line. And a bit of a flick on the outside. Blend. Now I forgot to tell you actually I, I put a little bit of the concealer on my eyelids while I was concealing my face earlier on so there's already a little bit of kind of creamy concealer on there. So I'm not really trying to like blend the colour up too much I'm just softening the edge of it. I'm also going to line my lower waterline just line into the roots of my lashes as well. And then just smudge that. I'm just taking a little bit of the face powder on my middle finger and I'm just applying it to the crease area here and that's just to help stop the concealer and the eye pencil from creasing in that area just to keep that nice and dry. So the eyeliner's on and I'm going to get a little bit experimental again. I'm going to take the mascara that I'll be using in a second and I've just popped some on the back of my hand. Now I am using a brush, but this is a brush that I got free with my Maybelline gel eyeliner. So technically I didn't pay for this. Is that cheating? It's possibly cheating, but I don't care. I'm going to use a kind of like smudgy gel liner into the roots of the lashes and maybe a little bit on the lower lash line as well just to intensify it and to knock out some of the red from that eyeliner. I have never tried this before so it could be a disaster. All right, that is the eyeliner done. Yep, yeah, I, yeah, it's eyeliner. So I'm going to put on a whole hell of a lot of mascara in the hopes that it stops me looking so hungover. I'm using the Essence All Eyes On Me Mascara. That mascara is unbelievable massive massive thumbs up for me it is super super black look at my eyelashes okay it's a bit messy but like I'll fix that in a second but oh my god so I will be putting some color on my cheeks but first I'm going to do the lips just because I'm doing a really strong color on my lips so I want to have that color on first so that I don't go overboard on the cheeks so this is one of the Kate Moss for Rimmel lipsticks in the color 111 kiss of life now, I may have cheated a little bit with this one, I'm not sure. Bit of a grey area, I think. Uh, this is normally, I think, about 11.50 here in Australia, um, which is over half of the $20 budget. But I actually got it while they were having a 50% off sale um, on Rimmel Cosmetics in Priceline. So I didn't pay full price for it. So I technically didn't go over the budget, but I don't know. I'm not sure if that's cheating or not. Now I am going to put this on with a brush. I'm using the same little Maybelline brush that I used to put the mascara on as eyeliner earlier. This is such a weird tutorial. So to finish the look, I'm going to pop some colour on my cheeks and you've probably guessed it, I'm yet again going to try and multitask with my products. So I've just taken a bit of that lipstick and I'm going to go back into that concealer and I'm going to mix them. I'm just going to dab that on. Oh, 
Oh. Look at the difference. It's just a little bit of pink on the cheeks. Oh, such a huge difference. And that is the finished look. So, you know, let's be honest with ourselves. It's probably not my best look in the world, but considering the budget and considering how few products and tools I had to work with, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So if you would like to enter the competition to get in with the chance to win all of the products I use on my face in this video, then all you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I don't know, this is not the symbol for subscribe, but make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And also you need to go to my Facebook page and give that a like. And the Facebook page is a great place to be anyway. I keep you up to date with stuff that's going on in between videos. And also I let you know when I have uploaded a video just in case it doesn't go into your subscriber box. So it's probably a good thing to like be there too. This competition is completely worldwide. Absolutely anybody can enter it. Um, all you need to do then is just leave me a comment down below and I'll just go through all the comments and you know make sure that you've done the other things and then I will get in touch with you and I will send you your stuff. Bye! Don't forget to go and check out Claire's channel, Ultimate Makeover. I will leave a link to that in the description box. If you've never seen her videos before, you will absolutely love Claire. She is just such a sweetheart and she does amazing tutorials. She does amazing hair tutorials as well, which I think is something that you don't get from my channel. So let me know how you think I did in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you very soon.